One of the extremely cool things about Superior 2, in my opinion, is its mixer. It's in the mixer that you're going to see all kinds of things. It really gets deep and detailed, okay? But what happens if you're in the zone? What, what if you're in the middle of making a song and, quite frankly, you just don't feel like going into the mixer? What do you do? Well, enter the Easy Mixer. The Easy Mixer is a streamlined mixer, and it gives you all the main functions of a mixer, okay? Here you'll see you've got the volume, okay? You've got pan. You've got solo. You've got mute. You've even got a master bleed section that controls the amount of bleed on that particular channel. Got a problem with phasing? Right here we got a button that'll fix it, reversing the phase. You even have some time correction, and it'll show you what inserts you have on that channel. But that's just a quick overview, okay? It offers so much more than just what's on the surface. You gotta dig a little bit, though. So let me go ahead and give you an idea of what I'm talking about by clicking the downward facing arrow, okay? Now right here you're gonna see it says all mixer and then you have some presets and things that TuneTrack has laid out for you. Very handy stuff. Whether you be a beginner or an advanced user, this is always some helpful routing, okay? Now let me go ahead and get into the actual mixer view so you can see everything changing as I choose different settings. For example, all mixer, Default is what you're looking at right now. Let's go ahead and try the default bus routing. And here you'll see that Superior is going ahead and sent the kicks out to one channel and it named it for us, kick. Let's scroll down and you'll see right there, bus one, two is our kick. Then you have a bus three, four for your snare, bus five, six for your hi-hat, so forth and so on. That's pretty cool. I mean, that right there has done a lot of routing for you and it enables you the convenience of having everything on one channel. And if you need to get a little more detail, that's fine. Come on down here and do what you gotta do, and then swing back down there. Boom, boom, boom. You can do everything else right here. Okay, so that's one cool preset. Let me show you another couple of them. Right here, this is an unprocessed preset where they send everything out to a bus, but they haven't named it or anything. You'll see kick drums on bus one, two, snares on three, four, Five, six on hi-hat, so forth and so on, okay? Next, we're going to see a flat multi-out, which this is probably my favorite preset. The reason is, I run a multi-channel instantiation of Superior within my host all the time, okay? So this gets everything flat. If you look, all the faders are set on zero and everything's routed for me already. Next in line, you'll see that there's an easy drummer mixer preset which again, the kicks are sent out to bust one and two, snares three, four, five, six. This is a mixer that is set up very similar to the Easy Drummer mixer. For those of you who are coming from Easy Drummer, this is gonna feel very familiar. You'll see that there's some EQs popped on here in addition to some compression. Nothing's been named yet, but you can go ahead and double click it and name it if you want to. Kick, there you go. Another cool preset is going to be the natural sounding preset. Now, moving along, you're going to see that there is a place where your user presets will show up should you have any. You simply come down here once you have a setup going in the mixer and save it as, and then you can name it and save it. And the next time you go to user presets, you'll be able to go ahead and grab, you can name it. And then the bottom section of this submenu is the same as the other submenus I've covered in past videos. You have next load selected only, save selected as, which means whenever you select certain channels, it'll save only those channels. Save, which will overwrite the existing preset. Delete, manage and find or explore depending upon your operating system. Now we're gonna take a look at the mics easy drummer style menu okay now you could create some presets for the superior kits but this is going to be mainly for the easy drummer kits now let's go ahead real quick and grab one let's just grab the uh we'll grab a claustrophobic that's always a fun one to look at and then we'll come on back to where we were a moment ago easy mixer mics and then there you go you've got all of these cool presets so for those of you who have Easy Drummer or, you know, any of the Easy Expansion packs, this is going to be good for you. All right, let's take a look at the electronic real quick. Go ahead and get back into our mixer. And right here, you'll see we've got a whole bunch of presets as well, okay? So that's really helpful for the Easy Drummer line. 
And for those of you wondering why these presets aren't in another place, for example, I don't know, right here, it's because this is combined presets. Remember that, okay? Also, if you're wondering why it's not in the construct page, well, there you go. There are some presets in the construct page. However, these presets are for the kit only, not the mics. These easy mixer presets are going to be for the mics. All right. Boom. There you go. Now let's go ahead and get back to a superior expansion pack. Any of them will do. And then I'm going to get back into my mixer so we can watch what's going on here. Let's go ahead and click the down arrow and going down to bleed usage. Okay. Now, this obviously, what you're looking at right up here at top, is considered default. However, if you want, you can create some bleed presets. Okay. Let me give you an example. Right here, if you go to the edit window, you can go ahead and cut the bleed on. And then let's go ahead and take out the bleed for certain instruments. Okay. And then we'll come on over here, cut the bleed on for all of them, except, I don't know, the hats, the ride, and the cymbal. Then we can come on down, go to bleed usage, and save as. Boom. We'll name it. We're bleeding over here and press save. Now, let's go ahead just to kind of prove what I'm talking about here. We'll go to bleed usage and go to default. And you see my lights cut off, meaning that the, the bleed mics have been disengaged. So let's get back into it. Let's go to bleed usage, user presets. We're bleeding over here. And boom, there you go. They have come back to life, including the individual bleeds that I did not want. So let's go ahead back into it, go to default, and boom, there you'll see they cut off. All right, now down here is going to be the bleed level and phase. Let's go ahead and go to snare drum top right there. We'll go ahead and select all of them, and we're going to create our own preset here, by the way. Let's go ahead and adjust the level. Okay, on a few of these that really make no sense, but just to kind of exaggerate what we're talking about here. And now let's go ahead and reverse the phase on a couple of them. Now we'll come on down here and we'll go ahead to bleed level and phase. Save as. Phased out. Now we'll go ahead and disengage all of them. Close it up. Come on back down here. Go ahead to phased out. And then boom, you're going to see that our levels have been set and the phases have been engaged as well. However, the bleed themselves have not been cut on. You might be wondering what the point in that is. Well, it gives you very detailed ways of saving presets. If you want to save all kinds of good stuff, that's whenever you're going to go to the all mixer preset. I know it might seem a little bit confusing, but whenever you work with it, you get the hang of it. All of these presets have very specific uses, okay? Now, moving along, let's come on over here to the master volume section. And once again, just like the Easy Mixer, the name implies exactly what it is. It's a master volume for the sampler. Now, you might notice that by default, some of these kits are going to be a little bit different than others. For example, the Alera kit is set at zero, pop rock, minus three seven. One of the Funk Masters, negative one, almost negative two. Latin Percussion is back at zero. And right here at Vintage Rock, we're at a 4.1 gain. My understanding is that some of these kits were recorded a little louder and hotter than others, which is why some of the volumes vary. This is the sampler's way of compensating for where some of these might be softer than the other kits, you understand? Now what's cool about this master volume section is that it also doubles as a mini transport, if you will, with a play and stop button for the groove player. See, that makes things pretty handy, especially if you wanna stay in the construction window so you can mess around with your envelopes, pitch, or whatever. There you go. And you can stop it just by clicking it right there. 
Now that's going to conclude this video. Y'all stick around because we're going to move on to the next section. I hope this helps you understand the easy mixer and master volume sections a little better. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you in the next video.